In this video, we are rebuilding a cylinder off of a low boy. You can see he is taking the set screw out of the gland nut that helps keep the gland nut in place. You can see all the rust coming out of that hole. Low boy cylinders are exposed to the elements and that gland nut is sometimes super difficult to get off. Right now he's cutting a notch in order to have a place to put his air hammer to disassemble it using that. And you can see it just now starting to turn. And now it'll come loose with a chain wrench, but not always that easy. Sometimes it's easier if the gland nut is available to just cut it off and save yourself all that time and the threads on the barrel too and just buy a new gland nut. And he's pulling out the gland. You can see all that dirt that's built up on the gland making it difficult to remove. And we tried with the forklift to get that piston out, but it just did not want to budge. So we had to put it on our cylinder bench and pull it apart using a lot of pressure. You can see he keeps the pressure on it, goes up and shakes it. You can see it budge loose a little bit. Put more pressure on it, just going back and forth, working it out. See, that's what was holding it in, just that little bit of dirt. And now comes all the cleaning. You break the nut loose on the end of the rod. And now we get to take out all the old seals. That's the wiper seal and it's coming out in pieces, but it really doesn't have any sealing properties. It just keeps that rod clean to protect the U seal. It's not good that it's coming out in pieces, but most people say, oh, it's just the front seal leaking, but they don't realize that one's only designed to hold like 10 PSI. So it's really this next seal, the U seal that is the most important part of that gland to keep it from leaking, which it came out in one piece, but still wasn't any good. There's the O-ring and the backup. You can see all that dirt that's built up too underneath the O-ring. Gotta get that really clean so it sits nice. And there it is, all rebuilt. And a brand new piston seal. Now all that's left to do is hone the barrel, make sure that's really clean, Clean up all the threads, 
so that it goes back together nicely. And this one, even when we got it really clean, there were still some grooves um, for where that dirt had corroded away the chrome. But a new barrel was not an option on this cylinder, so the customer just wanted it put back together as it was. Which is fine, as long as they know there's a chance it might leak, but it hasn't yet, so... <laughs> There he is, making sure all that dirt is out of the threads. Just reassemble the rod. A little bit of Loctite on the nut. Make sure it's nice and tight. Put everything back inside the barrel and tighten up that gland nut and put the set screw back in. And this cylinder is good to go. Thanks for watching.